Okay, uh, it's way past my lunch time, but it's still time for makan. Uh, as you can see, I'm still on the trail. I brought my car with me, and uh, so something quite new. Uh, now I hit the trail, I bring a, a food pack. So inside this uh, pack, I have uh, self-heating food. So this is a brand called uh, Chinju. Uh, it's actually made in Thailand. It has a uh, heating element in the, in the case. You fill it water, it will boil. There's a chemical reaction and the meal on top. So this is uh, nasi dan ayam tumis basil. Or in, uh, in Thai, pardon my broken Thai, is um, a pat kaprao. Uh, there's no need for, for using uh, open flame or a stove or you know, uh, any, any, any effort to, to cook. Uh, and then uh, if you're lazy with utensil, you don't want to wash up, this is the perfect uh, choice. Now the box weighs about 260 grams. Um, a pack of this uh, costs around uh, 12 ringgit, which is not too bad considering the fact that you're going to lock food in your, in your car, you know, in your pack all the way. And um, if you makan in, in, in the city nowadays, it will be more than that. So um, I'm just going to give this a, a shot um, and at the end of this video, you know, just give you my two cents worth whether this is uh, really worth it or not. Okay, the packaging, the, everything here, there's a description on how to, uh, how to cook this. Everything is there, pour water, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's made by KLC Marketing and Sale in uh, Hajai. Okay. Let me open the bag. Okay, plastic goes off. The label goes off. The lid seal is pretty tight. Okay, here's the content. Uh, this is the chicken, and this is the rice, and the water. Wow, this is amazing. There's water here. Pad. and there's also a complementary fork and spoon okay adding the water into the heating element add more water put in the Stir it a bit. Close the lid. Takes about 15 minutes, so you'll probably see some steam coming out. Okay, time for makan. Uh, I left this in the uh, heating box for about 15 minutes, really, really slow. So here's the pat krapau. This is actually processed uh, rice, actually pre-cooked rice. Not bad. If you have been, uh, you know, humping on the trail, hauling ass for the last uh, one hour or so, find a clearing, uh, set up your kitchen, you know, cook this thing. I think this uh, is, is best to having nothing. So, um, taste-wise, it's not bad. It's, it's like, a, you know, typical uh, uh, canned food. The chicken uh, has a canned food texture. The rice is not bad.
it's a it's a single serving um the advantage i think is very clear that you don't have to uh, you know make fire you don't have to prepare your stove there's no need to boil or what just dumping the heating pack add water close it up it will start to boil but i don't find the heating as efficient as those um, uh, self-heating meals from china the china ones are much better but price uh, cannot complain the price i think is one of the best uh, around for for this kind of food uh, besides this uh, minced uh, chicken fried with basil uh, they have uh, a few more flavor uh, tom yum they have uh, chicken with ginger and uh, green curry and also uh, panang curry I, I will test this uh, I will test the rest of the the flavors as I move along you know hit more trails and all that it's actually the first time uh, uh, reviewing a self um, heating meal on the trail so um, uh, like I said earlier you know if if you carry this in your backpack is very bulky it's uh, almost uh, 260 grams so if you have like uh, three or more packs in your in your backpack that's close to almost uh, you know three kilograms of uh, dead weight uh, there, there are uh, other alternative when it comes to self-eating meals uh, like those that comes in pouches um, but they are very expensive you are looking at the ballpark figure of uh, 20 to 30 ringgit per serving um, and then you know if you're if you're doing big expedition you are doing like you know interstate hiking crossing blazing trail could be worth uh, lugging it because why you will be too tired to uh, cook but then again you know um, trail food is very interesting they are they are dried food you, you just add water and you know heat it up on your stove and you get it I'll, I'll do that next time as far as this is concerned I, I give it um, 5 out of 10 so yeah that's it from me thanks for watching